it kind of looked like one of those apocalyptic movies. That's how one driver described being stuck in this epic traffic jam on I-95 in Stafford County back in January of this year. Be checking people, making sure they're okay. But for more than 24 hours, things were not okay. It was VDOT's responsibility to clear the highway of the abandoned vehicles that prompted this tabletop exercise. City managers request information and the media continues to call as well as citizens searching for information. In Newport News, this exercise was led by the Virginia Department of Emergency Services and was hosted by the City of Newport News. This was to simulate a significant weather event that could possibly shut down Interstate 64 in Newport News. We have plans. Um, but those are, you know, those are in paper. Newport News Fire Chief Jeff Johnson listening closely as it's mostly his responsibility along with the first responders to assist victims in case a massive rescue is needed. This is an opportunity to take a lot of what we've known, what we've built plans for, and then inject things that we don't know or aren't prepared for. Reacting quickly and mobilizing work teams virtually was talked about an effective compromise that came out of the pandemic. We could stand up much faster if all someone has to do that's already at their workstation uh, in another locality or somewhere else in the state, and they go to a, a, a meeting, a virtual meeting, they're suddenly there and part of that. Coming up with solutions to real-time situations such as reacting to people with medical issues and deteriorating weather conditions, and just how long can people remain in their vehicles without support. You can look at the largest cities in, in this country that have had major events that occurred and they bring in partners federally, state. It, it takes a team to solve a problem. City staff members are going to take all the information they learned from today's exercise and come up with some type of a game plan if faced with a similar situation. They're also going to reach out to neighboring communities to make this a true regional response. In Newport News, Robert Rizzo, 10 on your side.